20 incredible machines you wouldn't believe existed. Hey everyone, it's Alexa, back again with another video. When we think of machines, our thoughts immediately go to heavy-duty pieces of industrial equipment made from steel and metal and capable of performing feats that no man could achieve alone. Yet incredible machines throughout time are nothing like that. They could have been made from wood, yet revolutionized the way a certain task was completed. Today we look at some massive pieces of equipment still used today, and other pieces that changed an entire process hundreds of years ago. But before we get into the video, make sure you're subscribed and ring the bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Easy does it. We begin in 1760, where weaving became less of a chore and easier to manage thanks to this flying shuttle loom invented and patented by John Kay in 1733. This machine and the implementation thereof doubled the output of weavers during that time. This reduced the workforce by half and saved a ton of money. Large and in charge. Ironic to think that the largest machine in the world was built to study the smallest composition known, and that's the structure of the atomic nucleus. Nuclear accelerators have been around since the 1930s, and they've been used to study the many aspects of particle physics. This incredible machine is called the Hadron Collider, and it is ginormous. It's buried 574 miles below the ground in Switzerland and measures 17 miles in circumference. Inside this machine are two high-energy beams that shoot towards each other close to the speed of light. Thousands of magnets guide these beams to where they need to go. The magnets are colder than it is in outer space. If you thought this was big, there are plans to create an underground accelerator that's three times bigger than this one. Don't be busy, be productive. The spinning jenny made huge changes in wool mills productivity in 1764 and is considered one of the greatest inventions of the Industrial Revolution. Credit can be given to James Hargreaves, who patented the machine in 1764. It may look like nothing much now, but this changed the world forever, allowing workers to spin a lot more wool each day. In the beginning, a worker was able to work eight spools each time, and over time, and with fine tuning, it increased to 100 120 spools at one time. By 1778, there were 20,000 spinning jennies across the UK. Looming large. This is the NASA Crawler Transporter, and it was developed in 1965 to transport rockets to their launch pads. When they were first launched, they were the biggest self-powered land vehicles on the planet, measuring 39,929 meters long by 34,000 meters wide and over 6,000 meters tall. They even had their own name, Hans and Franz. Hans and Franz are still in use today, transporting shuttles. Search Engine James Watt changed the world with his Watt steam engine that he invented in 1775. It was the first reliable steam engine that made all previous engines null and void. He added a separate condenser that improved the engine's efficiency and made a considerable difference in latent heat losses. His new engine quickly found its way around the world and was the standard engine seen in mines and factories. His idea to integrate a crankshaft and gears became the prototype for the modern steam engine. This engine meant improvements for almost all all industries worldwide. This is no princess. This giant mechanical spider somehow got the name of La Princesse, but she's no princess. She's 15 meters or almost 50 feet across and weighs over 37 tons. She was created by French performance art company La Machine. She's done a lot of traveling in her time, including her showcase in Liverpool for 2008 European Capital of Culture celebrations. She also formed part of Yokohama's 150th anniversary of their port opening. Cotton On. Its nickname is Gin, but its actual name is the Cotton Gin, and it's an incredible machine that gave cotton production a massive boom. For some reason, this is a fact that everyone seems to remember from school. It was invented in 1794 by Eli Whitney, who is also credited with other industrial revolution inventions. Before this machine was invented, laborers had to remove cotton seeds from fiber by hand. It was laborious and took far too long. This invention also gave farmers an opportunity to grow cotton, who previously were not able to. Start your engines. The Bagger 288 was completed in 1978, and this is the beast that took the title of largest self-powered land vehicle on the planet away from the NASA Crawler Transporter. It's a bucket wheel excavator, and it weighs 41,276 tons. It is officially the largest land vehicle in the world. This monster is used in Germany at the Hambach Strip Mine and excavates more than 240,000 tons of coal every day. 
going forward. One of the biggest inventions in the Industrial Revolution was the creation of telegraph communications. It first became known in the early 1800s and changed the way we communicate forever. Telegraph communications made communication across the country possible, and that eventually led to people being able to communicate across the globe. It took just a few decades for the first electrical telegraphs to take over the optical semaphore telegraph systems, which became the only means of communication for business and private citizens globally. The bigger, the better. The biggest dump truck in the world is an incredible piece of machinery known as the Bell AZ 75710, manufactured by Bell AZ in Belarus. To purchase one of these trucks, you'll need to have a spare six million dollars. It's over 60 feet in length and weighs 360 tons. It can carry a load of 450 tons at a time. The truck is powered by two diesel engines that give out 4,600 horsepower, which is 4.6 times more than the Bugatti Veyron Supersport, one of the fastest cars in the world. Power up. We've seen evidence that suggests batteries could have been around in the Parthian Empire over 2,000 years ago, but it was Alessandro Volta who can be credited for the first modern electric battery that was invented in 1800. William Cruikshank mass-produced the battery from 1802 onwards. It wasn't long thereafter that the rechargeable battery was invented by French physician Gaston Plante in 1859. In 1899, the nickel-cadmium battery was invented by Waldemar Junger. The initial invention of the battery led to the discovery of electrochemical chemistry biggest in the world. The biggest aircraft in the world is the Antonov AN-225 Mira, a cargo aircraft built in the 1980s and designed by the Soviet Union's Antonov Design Bureau. The plane measures 275 feet in length, its wingspan is 290 feet, and it has a maximum takeoff weight of 640 tons. This massive piece of machinery was built to transport the Buran space shuttle. The last documented time that the plane was used was in May 2016 when it transported a 130-ton load from Prague to Perth. Let's spin. He traded as a barber and wig maker, yet Richard Arkwright created a machine that could spin cotton fibers into thread very quickly and easily. It was known as Arkwright's water frame spinning machine, and with the help of John Kay, their prototype could spin four strands of cotton simultaneously. He patented his design in 1769, and a bit of tweaking over time meant he had a machine that could spin hundreds of strands at once. His machines were installed in mills across the UK, and they were powered by water wheels. A big shot. In the late 1930s, the world saw the creation of the biggest railgun ever. The Schwerer Gustav was especially developed to be used in the Battle of France. When this beast was fully assembled, it weighed almost 1,350 tons and could release shells weighing 7 tons each, up to 29 miles away. But we bet you're wondering if they even used it. Well, the machine wasn't ready in time. It was used a few times thereafter, and there were only a few pieces of this machine remaining. Let's go for a spin. The spinning mule took two game-changer inventions from the Industrial Revolution and created something even better. Taking the idea of the spinning jenny and the water frame we mentioned earlier, the spinning mule was able to produce the softest, strongest, and finest yarn that the world had ever seen. It worked really well with muslins in particular. The mule was invented by Samuel Crompton in 1775, but he was too poor to patent it, so he sold the blueprints. The first mules produced were hand-operated, but by the 1790s, there were larger ones driven by steam engines with as many as 400 spindles. Call me Big Bertha. Her name is honestly Bertha, and she's the largest tunnel boring machine in the world. She was built for a very specific job, to work on the Alaskan Way Viaduct Replacement Tunnel Project in Seattle. She's called Bertha after Bertha Ethel Knight Landis, Seattle's first female mayor. Her specifications are 300 feet in length, a diameter at 57 and a half feet, and she weighs 7,000 tons. Light it up. An arc lamp was the first practical electric light that was invented by Sir Humphrey Davy in 1807. An arc lamp or light is a lamp that produces a light by an electric arc. Davy used a battery made from 2,000 cells to create an arc sitting between two charcoal sticks. It wasn't very practical though, but that changed dramatically when electrical generators were invented in the 1870s. We still use arc lamps today. You'll find them in film projectors, floodlights, and searchlights. Larger than life. This is the OOCL Hong Kong, and it's officially the largest container ship ever built. Built at the Samsung Heavy Industries, she was delivered in May of 2017. She will be sailing between North Europe, including Shanghai, Rotterdam, and Singapore. Six of these have been ordered at a cost of $950 million each. She has a dead weight of roughly 191,317 metric tons. 
can it. We've seen some incredible pieces of machinery and it's hard to put a tin can into the same category, but team it up with a machine that mass produced them and you have the perfect addition to this list. It was British merchant Peter Durant who patented the tin can in 1810. The impact the humble tin can had on the world is easy to understand. Just three years after that, John Hall and Brian Dorkin opened up the first canning factory in England. The original cans were so thick you needed a hammer to open them up. A tin opener followed in 1858 when the tin was thinner and a little easier to open. Before we wrap up with number one, has anyone watching ever thought of a contraption or machine that could make improvements to our daily lives? If so, tell us about it in the comments below. 1. Bridge the Gap The Overburden Conveyor Bridge F60 is a series of five overburden conveyor bridges that were used in the Lusatian coal fields in Germany. Their purpose is to transport the overburden which lies over the coal seam. It's the largest moving machine in the world and has a cutting height of 60 meters. It also has the nickname of the Lying Eiffel Tower.